Now it's time to shift our attention to women's basketball, and we welcome in women's head coach, Stephanie Lawrence Yelton. Hi, Coach. Hello, Tommy. It's great to have you here. Yeah, great to be here. All geared up for the holidays? Trying to, yeah, trying to get that last minute shopping done. Good. We finally got the Christmas tree up at the house. Now, when the tree comes down, because it's in basketball season, we don't know. Oh, good. But no, it, might, it might be April, you know, <laughs> Fine, but, but at least it's up. Hopefully it's after March, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. <laughs> well, you, you've, you've got a couple of big conference games coming up. Before we get into those, let's talk about your game last week against Tuskegee. You had a little adventure on the road, didn't you? Yeah, first time that I've ever had to experienced a rain delay in the middle of a basketball game. You know, we had the bad thunderstorms come through on uh, Tuesday night, and their roof started leaking over the gym floor and uh, left a huge puddle, and <laughs> it uh, it suspended the game for at least a, a you know a 10 to 15 minute rain delay after the first quarter. So it, it became a challenging game after that. Wow, retractable roof arena. Who yeah, thought? right. Yeah, uh, but but you guys took care of business even with the adversity you guys were still able to grind out a win. Yeah, and it's nice getting wins, obviously, in that non-conference schedule. And this was a team, a Tuskegee team. They're getting better and better every game. Uh, we just beat them by almost 30 points the week prior. So going to their place, we knew that they were going to be a little bit more fired up, a little bit more pumped up. Mm -hmm. And I think once that rain delay happened, they thought, well, okay, here's here's a new start to the game. Um, yeah, it really got challenging for us. By the time you guys get back on the floor on Saturday and, and resume conference play and really get into the heat of the conference schedule now, it'll have been almost two weeks since you guys played. How, how nice is that break at this point? You know, it's really good uh, academically for our players to give them a chance to just take a deep breath, concentrate on their schoolwork, get final exams under their belt before we play again. But from a basketball standpoint, it, it gives us a little more flexibility in how we're functioning and how we're doing our practices. So it keeps basketball fresh for our players. Mm -hmm. It's not the same old, you know, got to get ready for the game. Here's game prepping. Here's our scouting. We're really focused in on individual development right now, breaking down a little bit of skill uh, work for our players, looking at small individual um, improvement during this time, and then hopefully that's going to help us coming up this weekend. Do you guys scale back practicing at all at this point, or is it you just change the focus of it? We scale back a little bit uh, when day, days that we can, uh, but we also change the focus of it. Just because we know when our players are coming in after a full day of studying or taking an exam, sometimes mentally they're not ready for practice. So we have to get them warmed up a little bit better. Um, we have to to, um, you know, challenge them in a different way mentally um, because really they're drained from being uh, in a testing environment. This season, last season, we've talked a lot about how strong your defense has been, uh, and that's kind of become this team's identity. However, this year you guys are third in the GSC in scoring. Uh, is, is that something you expect to be able to sustain throughout the course of the conference? I think we'll be able to sustain it. I think we've got enough depth on our bench that we've got multiple scores that we can put on the floor, um, and we've got players that can score from different advantage points on the court. Um, so for us, it, it allows us to be more creative offensively uh, as a coaching staff. Well, this week gets started with West Alabama over the weekend. What do you know about them and Mont Montevallo? You know, uh, West Alabama plays a very physical game. Um, they've got a couple of good returners uh, to their squad, but their team is growing. They're trying to mature. Um, they've got some um, junior college transfers. There'll be new players on their squad for them. Um, so it's going to be a challenge. I say in the GSC and women's basketball, every game is a challenge, and that's what's nice about our conferences. There's no cupcakes. Uh, mm -hmm. You've got to really play and, and play well to win games. Um, Montevallo, a new member to our conference. Um, they're struggling a little bit it's right now, especially with scoring. But, um, again, I think, you know, a little bit of break for them and, and getting revamped after final exams and coming into conference play, I think they'll be better when they come in on Monday night. All right, sounds good. Go get a couple of wins. And are you going to wear an ugly Christmas sweater on Monday? Definitely. Monday night is <laughs> an ugly Christmas sweater night. So, come on out. I hope to see you in one, too. Well, I, I got one ready to go. I can't wait.